Hello, this is Shesha Chama from Ashwagat at Mysore. So, I have been continuously doing yoga after yoga after yoga and uh, from past two days I have been doing some small analysis and these uh, videos have become monotonous now. So, I have uh, planned to interview them with uh, the other subjects which would make, her, make it more, you know, um, interesting. Uh, interesting. So, what I am trying to do here is, uh, I have uh, introduced planetary analysis as uh, planets in each bhava. Like uh, what I am doing today is sun in the ascendant or the first house. So, sun in first house, sun in second house, sun in third house, I will be doing it for all the planets uh, in detail. So, I will not be going through it fast. Let me go through slow so that it will be in detail and uh, people can make use of it. So, I will be doing yogas uh, in between and uh, analysis, case studies one after the other. It will not be a monotonous thing that yoga after yoga has been fallen continuously. So, today let us uh, go ahead with the new subject that planets in bhavas and their analysis and results as to what actually they will give rise to. So, let us first understand the character of sun. Sun is a very hot, big star. It's a huge star. In our solar system, it is the heart of our solar system. Scientifically, it is the life of our solar system. There will be no life if there is no sun. Sun creates heat, creates vapor, creates uh, water, melts the ice, gives us rain, gives us seasons, gives the wind, it blows or else the air would be staying wherever it was. Though there was a, you know, the planets are rotating on their axis, the revolution is happening. The whole thing is dependent on sun. So that means sun, whoever has sun in the ascendant will feel he is running the show. So try to, I am just putting a scientific perspective with the behavioral pattern of the person. That means he will feel he is center of the family or he is center of the situation and he is the leader, he is the king and he rules the situation. He wants to. If the sun is strong, he will. If the sun is weak, he wants to, but he is not able to. The frustration will build up. So, when sun is in the ascendant, it will give the motivation to rule, to lead. So, hence, sun is politics. Sun is Rajakarana, Rajakarani or politics. So, the major Karakatwas of sun, when it is in the ascendant, how it will of, uh, you know, influence the native, I will be giving one by one and I will be explaining each and every Karakatwa with two or three lines which will actually make uh, you more, you know, understand the particular concept better. Okay. <clears throat> These are the pure qualities of sun. This is not, uh, you know, just some quality of sun. It is not the intermingling of planets. It is not the combination of planets. Please do not unnecessarily get confused when sun is with Mars, sun is with Saturn, sun is with Rahu or sun with any other you know, entity in the horoscope. It will influence and change the character and the results of the first house or any other house wherever sun is posited. So here I am talking about the pure quality of sun when it is posited in the first house of the horoscope. Yeah, first house very clearly means that it is in the ascendant and within, within, I am, I am from my perspective I am talking now because many astrologers have different perspectives. If I am telling first house that does not mean Sun is at 29 degrees and ascendant is at 1 degree of Mesha or any other Rashi. If ascendant is at 1 degree, then 15 degrees on either side of the ascendant is the first Bhava or the first house. So, within the 15 degrees on the left, left and the right of the ascendant, if Sun is positive, then that means we have to see the equal Bhava Sputa, equal Bhava chart. And if sun is in the first house, these are the results. So I am now entering into it. 
So, as I told you, these are the pure qualities of sun. Sun is a leader, he is a king, represented in the Vedic times by Sri Ramachandra. So, unbiased, a little rude. Krura means when the person takes a decision for a war. Sun was not a coward, his sun is not a coward, it's a courageous planet. A person has the will, the, uh, you know, the courage and the confidence to uphold and the interests of his subjects, that is the people, and to protect them. To protect them means that if somebody is trying to unnecessarily, you know, try to wage a war in earlier times or nowadays trying to enter into your domain, Will you leave them? No. This, these people, um, you know, mercilessly, this is the word which has to be used for sun. There is no mercy. That means other people might think that his way of punishing people or his way of justice might be a little cruel. Sun is like that. He is unbiased. He doesn't even think one second that whether the person whom he is going to punish or whom he is going to give a, you know, a judgment is even his closest relative. That is why this has been referred to Sri Ramachandra because he is the one who took the harshest decision on his own wife Sita Devi when he asked her or banished her from the kingdom and then she went to one of the ashramas. So, the point, the first major important point of son is when they are judgmental, they are unbiased and very clear with regard to what they are talking or what they are doing. So their actions are the same. The mind, the heart and the soul talk the same words. So that is what is sun. So as the, the other more, most important quality of sun which nowadays is very rarely seen, very rarely seen is that um, vakya Paripalana. You know, Pitru Vakya Paripalana, that was Sri Ramachandra. What is Pitru Vakya Paripalana? Pitru Sthana Adipati or Pitru Karaka Adipati is Surya, that is Sun. That is, he is the significator or the signifier of the ninth house, that is for Pitru, that is father or his predecessors. His forefathers, their culture, their tradition, their walk, the word. Even if the father has given a word to the villagers that this particular land is going to be donated for hospitals. I am going to build hospitals and by unfortunately if his father dies, the son will not waver. If he is having son in the first house, he will take that particular word as a command. He will he will do what his father had dreamt, build a hospital for the villagers. So that means it is Pitru Vakya Paripalana. That is they are very good at uh, holding their uh, you know, commitment. So when it's not only Pitru Vakya Paripalana, Vakya Paripalana that is they are, they are very good at their own commitments. So they will go to all lengths to protect, you know, for example, if a person gives his word that I am going to somehow, you know, do particular situation, I will control the situation, he will go all ends out. He will even sell his property to protect that particular right of justice. So he will go all ends out. So this is uh, one thing which is very good, you know, in the Treta Yuga, in the Yuga where Ramachandra was alive, not in the Kali Yuga. Kali Yuga is the Yuga that is the uh, era where people are more oriented towards making money, cheating, cunningness, you know, selfishness. Sun is selfless, unbiased. These are pure qualities of sun. Please do not get confused with the other qualities of sun when it is afflicted. I will come to that later on. So this person is purely for others. Sun does not take the light. Sun does not even use an iota of the light which it is giving out. For sun, it is always dark inside. For people who are next to the sun, it's always bright outside. So that means 
sun always shines on them so people who are around a native who is having sun in the ascendant will always feel protected they will always feel that they are at home because this person will make it so comfortable for them he will give his life for them so this is the pure quality of sun so let me go ahead with uh, you know each word will take this long then it would take hours and lengths and you know, days together to complete one particular planet sun okay they are very healthy what is sun sun represents the potency or strength of the blood which circulates in the body the heat the pitta pitta the bile so the major points are you know related to sun so this particular thing if it shuts down that means jivatma is gone a person is no more alive if the heat goes you know usually people you know see the breath you know when somebody is fallen and uh, he is not moving he has become jada that means he is not moving at all he is unconscious the person will check the breath first then the pulse then the heat these are the three major things which people check first to see whether a person is still alive or dead okay the breath the pulse and the heat so here the sun represents the heat it represents the pulse these two the prana that's the heart so that is why there is a sentence in uh, the vedas in the uh, saurasukta where it tells hrudrogam mama surya arimanan chanashaya so that means hrudrogam so uh, i just translated in english it's easier that old god surya or the benevolent surya or the bright surya tejas bharata surya please remove all the impurities which are unnecessarily clogging and trying to you know or make a, a give a hindrance to my heart which is actually functioning so beautifully because of you so clear the pathways so it's very clearly medical astrology you know vedic science we knew that sun bathing or sitting in the sun for a little time you know you don't have to get roasted there sun bathing is an excellent fantastic therapy to gain vitamin d to gain good uh, you know radiation of the sun for even 2 minutes if you do sun bathing it will actually be good people in the west or the other countries came to know about you know they came to know about this later on and they are now lying down in beaches you know let them do that you know everybody should get knowledge they have got it now so we have been doing surya namaskara from ages we have been not been doing surya namaskara from today we have not been doing it from yesterday or from day of yesterday we have been doing it from ages patanjali when he wrote the yoga sutras he did not write it uh, you know patanjali was not my neighbor or my friend he i have not seen patanjali he was thousands of years ago so that means the indian culture or the vedic culture is huge broad and is magnanimous people have accepted yoga all throughout the world and surya namaskara is synonymous to yoga because that is the first starting thing if anybody tells yoga they'll ask oh you do surya namaskara so surya surya is ravi surya is dinakara surya is sun these are the synonyms of sun so that's one very important point of sun second important point of sun in the ascendant is it makes a person active routine oriented he will never wait for anybody he will do his duty on time to time basis every day without tiring without showing any you know a, a, you know of a, a reaction on the face nothing no expressions unblemished clean face he will keep doing his work without showing any tiredness or nothing like that so that is sun that is pure sun so let us go ahead i don't know whether i'll be able to complete it today okay <clears throat> they will have clarity of thought they will have clarity of thought and because sun sits in the ascendant karko bhavanashaya 
will happen in two places which is one is the eyes of the person which might have some defect because sun represents eyes and the the first house uh, does not represent eyes first house does not represent eyes but because it sits in the first house the organ which is connected between the brain and the eyes the the particular connection might have some defect which might result in vision defects like color defects or something like that so next there is another problem called as the kalvata Kal yoga that is the baldness which might happen because of the hair follicles of the hair head which might you know lose the strength early in life so uh, moving further yeah <clears throat> they are very spontaneous they are very spontaneous and uh, because they always tell the truth uh, there is only truth for them they, they do not lie at all there is only truth so they don't have to remember it a person who is a liar has to remember when did he lie for what did he lie to whom did he lie and you know what did he lie itself for what first a lie for what did he lie to whom did he lie when did he lie all this he has to remember throughout his life because whenever that particular point comes he has to tell the same lie to make it seem like a truth sun doesn't have to remove remember it the pure characteristics of any planet will not tell a lie even rahu pure character is honest straightforward rude rowdy character will tell i'm like this you want to be with me be with me or else get lost so that is what is rahu but sun is not like that sun gives good respect sun means respect sun means status sun means stature sun means lighting the society giving good you know or knowledge to the society giving protection to the society so let me go ahead this is a spectacular planet actually and this is all in the ascendant all this what i am talking now is for the ascendant for the other uh, houses it might, i might go a little faster but for the ascendant sun is huge because it is in the east and uh, <clears throat> let me go there are two more points mm, yeah uh, they are very good in uh, uh, political uh, grounds and uh, yeah they are very good in uh, politics and uh, they are excellent as uh, um, le building leaders skillful in particularly building leaders new new people new generation so uh, sun will give all this in full flow that is full strength when it is either exalted in the ascendant mula trikona in the ascendant or own house in the ascendant that is in the ascendant means in the first house also please in the bhava kundali first house if sun is in its friend's house uh, these characteristics will get a little modified but still strong but sun when it is in its enemy's house the characteristics become weak that is as i told you earlier i gave you an example a person wants to become a politician but does not want to become a leader you can understand these things he wants to serve the society but does not want to come in the forefront he has that you know a little bit of uh, discomfort or what we call as that he does not want to open up himself inferiority complex sun usually when bright will give superiority complex that is why he is a leader he will simply stand on the stage and he does not want to sit in the audience he will just go to the stage so that is the level of sun so uh, people with sun in the ascendant can become good surgeons politicians police officers judges excellent skilled workers they can uh, even go into you know public works department where they will go into constructions of roads airports huge sun in lagna is a very good position sun also when it is in the 10th house will give very very good digbala the strength of sun is very strong so it's an excellent position to have sun in the 10th house and first house or 10th house is fantastic sun is very weak when it is in the 4th house in any chart 
because it goes to the north of the chart, it is very weak, it is very strong in the south of the chart. So that is the Digbala. So it is weak when it is debilitated or when it is very weak when it is in the uh, fourth of the chart. So it loses 50% in the fourth house and when it goes to debilitation it makes the person uh, having low confidence but having all the same traits. You know, um, so here I am not talking about the fourth house at all. I am not talking about the 10th house, I am just telling you about this, about sun we are talking, but it is in the ascendant. So when it is in the ascendant, it will be very strong. But when it is debilitated in the ascendant, that is in the house of Libra, uh, that is in the sign of Libra, then the person might not have that much of confidence, but still because from Libra, sun is the 11th lord, so being the 11th lord in the ascendant, it will still start, try to give some benefit to the um, Chart. But still, Sun in the Ascendant is taken to be a good placement for three major points. Three major points, let me summarize once again. The first three major points of Sun is, the first one is, the person will have skill. For this Kali Yuga button, he will have skill. Second one, he will know how to do business. That's what is required. And the number three, he will be healthy. So skill, business and health, I think it's a fantastic combination for today's date. So thank you very much for today's uh, uh, thing class. I hope uh, I have put across uh, the a detailed perspective with regard to sun in the first house. Thank you.